All right, as always, thanks for joining. Today we're going to be reviewing the New View Hunting Backpack. They contacted me and asked me if I'd like to try this out, and it looked pretty decent, so I thought I'd give it a shot. <clears throat> this thing has got straps and pockets all over the place, and uh, today we're going to be going out into the woods and we're going to be putting up trail cameras for the season, and so we're going to be putting it to the test. So let's start loading it up and we'll talk about its features. We got eight trail cameras in there, still got a decent amount of room. They're not bulging out too far. We got a trail camera, what is? Up rope. And because we're going to be doing some self filming today, we're going to take a tripod. Goes on easy, nice adjustment straps. Uh, pack feels fairly comfortable and uh, we'll be testing that out today. I've got eight trail cameras in here. I've got a tripod, I've got uh, my tethered one sticks uh, and I got a bunch of other gear in here. So uh, it's got a good amount of weight in it and uh, we'll be wearing this thing around the woods. All right, so I showed you a lot of the gear that I could fit inside this thing. Now let's talk about some of the features this thing's got. It's got a lot of pockets. Uh, we've got on the outside here initially um, a, a th very thin pocket, but it's fairly deep. Uh, and then it has a secondary pocket here, and inside there, um, it's kind of like a secondary main pouch, and it's got a couple different pockets in there. It has a zip-up pocket, so you can put things in there, like your cell phone or your keys. Uh, then a couple of mesh pockets, one for like pens maybe. Uh, and then it has the main pocket. And inside that main pocket, it has a back pocket uh, where you could fit like a water bladder or anything like that. And then it also has another zip up pocket that you great for keys. <clears throat> and then the bottom of this is flat. It has a nice flat area. So the bag tends to wanna, if you had gear in it, tends to wanna sit up on its own. When it's empty here, it's not really wanting to, but um, could sit up on its own. This bag also has some really nice zippers uh, that I am not sure that they are totally waterproof, but they seem to be extremely water resistant and nothing else. Closes right up uh, and that is just really cool. I think that's going to be really nice to help keep in, making sure your stuff is dry if it does rain. Also has a really nice handle here. It's got a rubber guard on it so that you're not gripping on it just fabric. And then the top of the straps these are adjustable as well. So that way you can adjust the tension that you're feeling on your back just by tightening these up. And that's gonna be able to help you shift the load, uh, which is a really nice feature. It does have a clip here for your water bladder, uh, as well as it has a hole here for your straw to come through. <clears throat> this thing also has plenty of straps. <clears throat> Across the back, it's got three straps. On the side, it has one Z shaped strap. Uh, the, the bad part about that is that it doesn't come all the way undone from here, uh, but you can use your pocket, <clears throat> like you could tuck things into it and then tighten it up, cinch it down, and then bring it back over. Make a little crisscross pattern on both sides, it has that. And then at the bottom, it has a couple of loops here, uh, a couple of clips. And what that is for is a cool option that this thing has. It also has this bottom little zippered pouch and what I have tucked inside there is this option here for hauling a gun. So what it is, it's a little pocket and you can just clip this on. It's great for hauling around your favorite pink BB gun. And adjust the height a little bit, has a little bit of height adjustability. And then you can put the butt of your gun right in there, snap that thing closed and then strap the rest of the gun here. And that's gonna give you a nice option for toting a uh, rifle around. And another cool feature that I also have tucked inside here is the rain cover. So it has a really nice rain cover that covers the entire bag. The other thing that I like about this is that it's hunter orange. 
So if you're out in the woods and say you're hauling your game out, if you've got a turkey or you're hauling a deer and you want to make sure people can see you, you've got this added protection. You can just put this thing all the way around that backpack and it's going to really pop out. Um, as well as you, if you want it, it's going to help protect from rain. So I really like that they've included that. And it's that. good That's at keeping awesome. you safe and dry. Um, then it also leaves you with an open pouch here um, that you could store some things in. <clears throat> This thing also has a set of straps on the bottom, so that way if you wanted to tie something up um, on the bottom, you've got these guys here. Also what's cool about that is if you wanted to hang your gun with this set right here, you would clip these guys in. You still have not necessarily lost this storage because inside here they've included another set of clips that you can clip these bad boys onto and still use it. So that's really cool. Uh, I love that option. Uh, it's just yet another spot that you can hang gear at. So really cool. Another feature with this, this back piece right here is reflective. Uh, so if you know it was nighttime and someone was shining a light, you're going to be able to see that it's going to bounce off of that. So that's a really cool added bonus feature uh, that I didn't really notice. And I don't know that they necessarily advertised it, but uh, once you hit this thing with light, it definitely glows. And then let's talk about here on the front. Uh, it's got really nice padded straps. They're not too puffy. They're a little rigid, um, but they offer a good amount of comfort. And then you've got a couple of small pockets here. These pockets are big enough. If you wanted to fit your cell phone in there, it does not really fit in there all that great. It can fit, um, but with a lot of work. Uh, I would definitely not be putting my cell phone in here, um, but if you have a smaller cell phone, it could possibly fit inside these pouches. But you could definitely fit like mouth calls and some other small stuff, some snacks, stuff like that would fit in here really well. They advertise this as being compatible with holsters. <clears throat> so if you wanted to carry, uh, inside here, they have a couple of Molly webbings that you could snap your holster into, which is kind of a cool little option. Uh, they also, these unclip, so if you wanted access to that, it's there. And then you can kind of adjust how much tension is on these, just with a strap. And you could have it sticking out quite a long ways, or pull in tight on both sides. It has that option. <clears throat> and then the cool part about this is, I would say it's a, it's a mix, it's like a hybrid frame pack. So what it has is it has this wire. Let me pull this guy out. It has this piece in here. And what that does is that really makes this pack, I mean, it's pretty floppy now, but with it in there, it makes it really fairly rigid. And what it does is it has a nice arc to it that keeps the weight off of your back, but it leaves it on these screens. So that way you're not going to be super hot and sweaty. It's not going to be holding in all the heat and moisture in there. And it keeps the pack away from your back, which I really like. It's a sweet little option. You don't have to have this in there, but I think it really helps. Uh, helps for comfort and everything else. So I'm pretty, pretty happy with this little pack. Uh, it's got some D-rings on here that you can clip things to. So this is the 35 liter pack. They offer a 30 liter as well as a 60 slash 80 liter pack. And I think that is because you could take a couple accessories on and off of it. Uh, but this is the 35 liter. Right now it's selling for $69.99 on their website. Um, but overall, I think this is a great little pack and uh, we'll be putting it to use this year. There are a couple cons with this backpack and I do want to touch base on this because I want it to be an honest review, uh, is the, the noise factor. Uh, it's a very rough kind of like canvasy plastic canvas type bag um, and it's a little loud. Uh, it's definitely loud compared to some of the bags that I have and I've used in the past. However, I think used correctly, I don't think you're going to have an issue with it. Uh, but I do want to point that out. The other thing is that this waistband, I just feel like it could have been a lot, um, these bottom pieces here could have been a lot farther. These don't come even close to being usable pockets for me on the go. Had these pockets extended out to here, um, I think they would be usable, but back here, I can't really reach them to use them as I think they were kind of intended. I think they were kind of intended to be used while you're wearing it to access stuff, but I can't reach these things to really use them. Um, I mean, 
it is what it is. They're there. They're usable, just not usable while you're wearing it. There's not much you can access while you're wearing this pack, uh, as is with most packs. But I thought I would mention it. We like this pack. I'm definitely going to be putting this to use this hunting season. And uh, go check this thing out. New View Hunting. They sell backpacks as well as clothes. Uh, be watching. We've got a review on some of their camo clothes. We're going to be doing that in the future here. Uh, but got to get that out in the woods and get testing it. So, um, as always, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.